Hello, my traumatized babies and mentally ill Barbies. I am working off some agitation. I don't think it's gonna show up in the read, but today I know I'm posting this like later, like it'll go up later, but I'm filming this on the last day of the fast. And it's like been like eight or nine days, okay? And like someone really like pushed my buttons by attempting to bully my mother over something that was absolutely not her fault. And the thing is, I am not the type of person who like gets mad at people who are like, you know, just trying to do their jobs. But I like, it was just, it was not the day and I was not the one. And when someone legitimately tried to bully like my mom for something that was like not any of her fault, I was just like, okay, well, now we're getting it from both barrels. And I swear to you, we both popped off at the same time, me and my mom on this particular person. And it was just like, it's so funny how people are gonna try and bully you, and then the second that they see, oh no, 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 we're coming at ya, we're returning the energy, and we're putting a little tip on it for you, how that she just black, like she's like, okay, well, I'm going, and it's like, no, no, come, 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 come here. <laughs> but she ran off. Um, which I would too, to be honest with you. But I think this read is actually gonna be pretty positive. I'm already seeing good energy under the deck. What I'm seeing here is something's gonna be happening like really publicly for y'all. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if this is that like big manifestation that I see here, but it's almost sort of like there's somebody or something coming towards you that's going to get you a lot of attention. It just really seems like whether this is a person or an event, um, it just seems like whatever it is, it is going to put a spotlight on you and like your lifestyle is just going to be changing. I've been getting that a lot. And you might have like some haters now that my energy is all over the place, the cats are like freaking out. I'm the one who let out the aggression in the household, so it's my fault. Everybody has the zoomies now. You might have some haters over this, but you know what? Like, I don't see it. Like, don't even worry about it. Do not let anybody raining on your parade actually rain on your parade because this all looks like amazing energy, and the only reason somebody would be hating on you is due to complete jealousy, okay? And I also see here that... You know, radical success and spotlights tend to have some people coming out of the woodwork, right? I see here someone who maybe, you know, wasn't the best friend to you or whatever might come out of the woodwork at the same time. Um, I'm not really seeing this person in good energy right now, but I'm seeing that probably like, you're not gonna leave, you're, whatever this is, whoever, if there's a person who tries to come back in the midst of whatever success that y'all are having, you're not gonna be dealing with it. Um, you're gonna send that person packing. And I think that these little hater energies that seem separate from that, I don't think that you're gonna let whatever this is bother you. I'm just saying like, just prepare y'all because you know, with influxes of energy like this, influxes of success and attention, it's just, you know, it really, um, it can really expose some not so wonderful sides of people. What I see here is the queen of rings, you know, um, that's this deck's queen of pentacles. It like, I've just been seeing this, like something about y'all's status is getting bumped up for some reason. It's some sort of social recognition or it is somebody who has some sort of social recognition who is coming your way to interact with you for some reason. And it's sort of like their attention on you is like having this sort of effect. Mm. What is this? And I've been getting this, I don't, let me look at this. I've been getting that 
like this is going to be occurring during some sort of grief work. So, you know, if you're, if you watch these videos as they're being posted, y'all know that on the community tab, like I've been saying, like dedicate a portion of September, if you really feel called to it, to processing more of that forgiveness work and everything like that. And it looks like, you know, as y'all are maybe self-reflecting, letting these energies kind of move through and get out of the way. It's like, it's doing so much for your confidence and it's like there's fresh stuff coming in. This also seems like this fresh stuff, like this, um, like as you are doing forgiveness work, grief work at the end of the year, whatever it is, or whenever you decide to do this, it's like, that's when this thing comes in and here's the thing, if this is like some sort of important person, like they also might have some sort of an assistant, a personal assistant or someone who like makes appointments for them, something like that, like a secretary that y'all are dealing with. Um, because it's like this person, if it is a person and not an event, they're like a really big deal. And it's sort of like they have someone else doing a lot of communication for them because you know, they're such a big deal. Or that little page of swords with the Hierophant, good, they're still at the bottom of the deck, is this is a message from on high, right? A message, yes, praying, something that like we've heard your prayers get ready because they're about to be fulfilled and you're gonna be really happy. Really happy, incoming, incoming. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just, it seems like this is, more of that radical manifestation energy and it's something to do with grief work I'm, it's like this is like literally like you're transmuting something um and in this transmutation process or as a result of this transmutation process some sort of manifestation is now able to come in yes no okay Oh, but y'all should have just like Todd Recall just started playing in my mind when everything was going down. It's like, you've got the wrong bitch, bitch. You've got the wrong bitch. You've got the wrong, wrong bitch. Look at that. There's that grief work. And see, like once you process it, then the thing comes in. What is it? It's some sort of balance. This is able to come in because like something, something else just had to move aside. But we don't know what it is. See, here's the thing. This is why I'm just like, I don't exactly know what this is going to be for everyone. The material form that this manifestation takes is kind of like, like, yes, take the general energy of the read if it's resonating for you. But as far as details on form, like when I'm saying it's a person or whatever, eh, mm, like get a little loose with that. Don't take it like so literally, just go with like this energy, right? Like big time satisfaction, fulfillment energy and just let it come in any way that it wants to come in. Like I said, we don't, we don't know. We don't know how it's gonna manifest, but it's like manifesting. Don't know, don't know. Okay, so now let's see what's on the board here. We have... See, this is what I'm saying. It's like potentially a really important person. Or this is, I'm getting no, I was about to say this is y'all, but it's just like, no, there's like somebody or something else coming at y'all. We have this emperor opening up, like somebody approaching you or talking to you, opening up eight. Eight, 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 the burning eight between Sunday and Monday lies a day so dark it will devastate. Eight, opening up, it's the strength card. Well, that's an interesting take on strength, opening up, being vulnerable. Being vulnerable, someone is coming towards you and these cups are like, emotion or somebody wants to do this 
So you see, it's almost like if this is this emperor, it's like, I want to tell this person something. I really want to tell them something. There's like a lot on my heart that I want to express. And this person is likely going to have the strength to do so. Yes, we have communication with this Queen of Swords, with um, people in materiality, with that Three of Pentacles. Okay. And so then we have the contestant. So this is the Fool. Yes. So we have the Empress here. The Emperor and the Empress. I'm hard pressed. This seems like another person. So either y'all are the Emperor or you're the Empress. Because the contestant is also like, this is like, this deck is playing on the, like the bachelor or the bachelorette. This is like one of the contestants, this empress. And it's sort of like this emperor wants to communicate something. They want to give something. They want to go somewhere. Like, I don't know. Um, we'll look at it. Where does this person want to go? They want to put you on a little boat on their motorcycle and they just want to vroom off. <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> like this is, look, this is so weird. I kind of like, I'm weird about this energy. We have these dogs here. Like this is group date. This is like three of pentacles. And then we have fresh meat. Like all the dogs want to treat. Like, I don't know, um, but the Ace of Mirrors would be like the Ace of Swords. Um, this person might want to communicate something because we also have the Eight of Wands here, but there's something about like, if this is the person where it's sort of like they have stalkers, right? Or they have weird energies around them, or this person's kind of a whore. I don't know if I mentioned this in other reads with this person, but you might have other people like haters in the community, right? Talking about how you are this person's like flavor of the week. Like if this person is known to kind of be a huge whore, it could be that your association with them, even if it's completely professional, it's sort of like, People are like, oh, well, you know, he sleeps with everybody that he blah, blah, blah. She sleeps with everybody that she blah, blah, blah. It's something like that. It's that Lana Del Rey fucked my way up to the top thing. But what I would say is like, don't, if that's what it is, don't let it bother you and just carry on, right? Like, don't even worry about it. It's looking like it's not going to stop anything. So now we will clarify, we will clarify this emperor um i'm gonna put this one aside because i think that's just a reflection of whatever this opening up is we will see how they want to open up we will see what they want to like do because all of this like empress and everything else and the contestant just strikes me as this person wants to do something with y'all where this incoming energy and event or event is going to interact with you in such a way that something drastic is going to happen and i don't know what it is I want to see what this fresh meat is and what this communication is. I don't think we need to clarify these two because it seems like there's like a negative connotation here going on. It's just sort of like, you're going to have to not let it bother you if you decide to associate with this person. Like you're going to have to have a really strong hold over who you are. And if it's not another person and it's an event, like let's say, um, your business gets a lot of notoriety or if you have been like pushing a particular platform for a while and the platform just all of a sudden popped off, you might get a sudden influx of attention and people like just might be, you know, running their mouths in the comment section or whatever, something like that. Just haters in general. All right, so we're gonna start with this emperor. Let's see what's up with them. I will try to read this as a person and also as an event. So we can like loosen up this energy perhaps. I'll do my best, I don't know. I've been kind of like stuck on the concept that this is an actual person. I just heard because it is, but you know what? We're gonna, you know, we're gonna do our best here. 
Yes, no. There's some stress involved with this. Obviously, we keep getting that. It's just because it's a big deal. I'm so intensely curious about how this is gonna manifest for the collective. There's some sort of like, oh, right. This is that person who like, there's shitty people around them, three of swords. They know it now, ace of swords, and they're pulling back from these people, four of diamonds. Nine of Wands, Firewall. So they have created boundaries around their situation. If this is just something that is going on in your energy, you realize who you need to not deal with anymore and you have eliminated these people or influences from your life and you have created strong boundaries, which is why you're in this Emperor Empress energy. Mm. Well, this is either you are a very good mix of two separate powerful energies right now. Like you are, like these two energies are in this crucible of yours and you are, um, you're just moving with that particular purpose. It's like, because you've done this, it's sort of like, now you're seeing like reflections of this immateriality. So we have this queen of hearts, we have the ace of hearts, which is like the ace of cups, right? And we have this queen of swords. This is manifesting with both your mind and your heart. So your control system is online as well as the manifestation portal. Like you are aligned. And so this, this ace of cups is all that energy coming out and it's going to be returning to you in materiality. That's if this is you. Um, if this is another person, this person is aware of who they should be dealing with, which is going to be this queen of, I gotta know, no? Okay, it's the queen of hearts that they should not be dealing with but instead the queen of swords. And I got a yes on that. So let me go ahead and go around again and see if we can get more on that narrative. Six of wands on this queen of hearts. And nine of wands. So this is someone, this queen of hearts, if this is a person, well, we're just gonna go with person now. If this is a person, um, well, and I can do it both ways. If this is a person, this person was someone that this emperor was formerly public with that now they have barricaded off. If this is your energy, this queen of hearts, when you are in this more empathetic space, um, it's also an attractive space. It, brings you a lot of attention, this loving, warm energy that you have, but you have very strong boundaries around it. So like people can't take advantage of you. What is this Ace of Cups or Ace of Hearts? This is, like I said, manifestation. If this is just y'all, you're gonna be seeing manifestations come in. Queen of Diamonds, in your material space, we have three queens here. Three queens, um, your energy is returning back to you and it is reinforcing who you are. Um, if this is another person, they are seeing who is the correct person to pour their energy into in materiality. So then what's the deal with this queen of swords or queen of spades? Um, oh, this is the incoming. So the four, like, cause remember the tarot that went with this emperor was the four of cups the queen of spades is being clarified by the four of hearts, which is the four of cups. This is the person who we are giving energy to the nine of pentacles person or nine of diamonds. Um, if it, like, that's also the same sort of the energies returning to you. 
the thing that you have thought of. Your thought is now becoming a thing. Yes, four of diamonds. Your thought, because it's the four of hearts, right? Queen of swords, the thing that you've been thinking of, you sent out the energy. That energy is returning back to you in materiality in a stable way. That is the truth. It's the ace of spades. Um, if this is someone who wants to be in communication with this queen of swords instead of this queen of hearts, this is just the incoming energy of them communicating with you. Um, and it's stable. It's something that's going to be showing up in your materiality and it's going to be very clear. It's going to be very clear who this person is. So there you go. If it's, you know, an event or um, a person. So now opening up, what is this person going to be opening up about? Or this is potentially just your manifestations blooming, right? Opening up. Well, see here how we have the two Joker cards. One is upside down and one is upright. If this is a person, then they are leaving one thing for another that is better suited to them. Three of hearts, it's like a partnership because it's the three of hearts with the two of hearts. This is a third party situation. Like this person isn't cheating with you. They are just have left one like partner for another. Um, I'm not reading that in another way right now. They might be telling you this. Okay, the Ace of Wands, the Magic, the Ten of Hearts, which is the Ten of Cups, and the Two of um, Wands. So this is, if it's a manifestation, this is just your shit coming in. The magic is returning to you based on prior actions that you have taken. If this is a person, they're communicating to you like why, like they're communicating to you that they're passionate about you. They think you're like really awesome and they're explaining like how or why they have come in to tell you this. Let me get one more on that. They're going to be opening up about their journey from here to there. If this is just a manifestation, you will be able to see how this came in from here to there. Like it's gonna, you're gonna be able to see like the chain reaction like all at once. Once this comes in, you're gonna see why like certain things in the past had to go like they went in order for this to happen. Um, yeah, and if this is a person, like, I saw the Seven of Pentacles under here. There's something about this that was, like, arduous. This path that they took was arduous. This process for you might have been arduous, and it was, like, a long time. This person thought about this a long time, or it took a long time for them, for them to be able to take this action. If this is a manifestation that you have been working on, you've been working on it for the last seven years. And now it's finally opening up. Okay, so what does this person want to do with you or where is this particular manifestation going to take you? Well to wealth. Quickly. Some sort of wealth. Um, there it is, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, in my Smith deck, there are words, I wrote little words on top of this, like, it's yours. It's yours, here it is, and like I told you, it's going to bring you wealth, Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Four of um, 
Wands, Nine of Cups, okay? Like, this is some form of material abundance. It is possible it is connected to another person. It's possible this is just happening to you due to all of the work that you've been doing. Very, very consistent work. You are coming into union with this person or this manifestation, and it's what you want. It is what you want. And you sacrificed a lot for this, whatever it is. All right, what's actually on the board? Where do they want to take you? Where do they want to go? We've got the King of Hearts. We have the King. Oh, so it's like, if this is a person, they're matching your energy. This person is an energetic match to you, but we've already seen that with the Emperor and the Empress. So we have the King of Hearts and the King of Swords. And what's this? The Three of Wands going somewhere. This is like literally going somewhere. This is literally like traveling somewhere. If this is another person coming in, they're an energetic match to you. And together, y'all are going to travel somewhere. If this is just your energy, we saw like y'all came out as the Queen of Hearts and the Queen of Swords together. Once the manifestation fully comes in, it's going to take you to this king energy, which will just say it is the more active energy. You are going to have way more agency to do whatever it is that you want to do once this comes in. That's what that movement is. So there might be some limitations on you now, even as the queen of swords and the queen of hearts. But once the energy returns to you in materiality, it's going to bump you up to the kings. And then you're going to be able to move. Even though that's like a bad metaphor because it's really the queens in chess who can move anywhere. But we'll just, you know, we'll do it that way. We'll do it as yin and yang. Um, and of course, if it's another person, y'all are actually going to be going somewhere. So I'm going to see what that is with this three of wands. If we can get any more information on where you will be going by yourself or where you will, you will be going with another person. Yons, you're going to be go, well, you're going there quick. Okay. Eight of wands, or you're just going to a lot of places. Two of wands, th I mean, two of wands, two of diamonds, three of diamonds, it's two of pentacles, three of pentacles. It's almost like it's a lot of places in materiality that you are going to, to talk with people. You're going to be talking with people or meeting with people. Can we get more on that? And there's three on that card, so it might be you and another person. The five of swords to fight for something? To fight for something? We have this ten of um, diamonds under the deck again. That's like wealth. What is that five of swords or five of spades? There's some sort of like conquering energy on that. It could be conquering the world. I don't know. I heard a yeah. The Joker, which is like, I don't know why I'm thinking of this like as the world. The Joker, it's like I'm taking the throne. That throne that's mine, I've conquered it, I'm taking it. We have acquired this land in the name of me or in the name of the collective. So that's what's happening here. There's some sort of like wild thing happening. All right, so where are we going now? It's this fresh meat card. Like I said, if this is another person, we have gotten that this person kind of has like a reputation. If it's not a reputation, because you're all of a sudden being vaulted into some sort of notoriety, it's like everybody's like, oh, now we're hungry for the downfall, right? Fresh meat. She went up or he went up and now we get to tear him down. It's part of the friend. So that could be it if this is not um, something going on with this other person. But I like freeing up this energy. I like having this both ways because I don't want to limit y'all in how this could come in. Like you very well could be doing this on your own. I'm getting yes, no on that, which means some of you are doing it on your own and some of you are doing it with another person. I'm getting yes, 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 yes. 
so that's accurate. But I would keep it open. All right, this fresh meat card, let's see, someone's got it out for y'all. 10 of swords, and if this is another person, it's because of the partnership. It's because of the partnership, there's drama over this relationship. And whatever work you're doing, If it is just you, it's just, look. Hose mad, okay, hose mad. You got the wrong bitch, bitch. Like that's that five of swords almost to me. It's like, let's go. Like if y'all really wanna bring it, get ready for the brat. Um, you've got the wrong bitch, bitch. You got the wrong bitch. Three of swords. This is somebody wanting your scalp. They don't like that you have this. They want to dead you. Four of swords. Three of swords. Four of swords. Fresh meat because of what you have. It's because of whatever this manifestation is. People are out for blood because of some sort of work. I don't know, what is that manifestation? If we can, please. It's probably like, it's gonna keep it vague. I don't know, we'll see. Yes, the seven of what? it's your spot. They want the crown. They're gonna be coming for you. You have the high ground, but they're coming for you, babe. They're coming for that throne that is rightfully yours. There's a bunch of Knights and pages in materiality who are coming for you. And perhaps this other person, if it is another person, one more. Wow. What the hell is the collective doing? Y'all better tell me. I want all the tea. If you don't have to sign an NDA or something, I don't know. Because they're the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> like... Listen, it's not the collective's fault. It's not the collective's fault. Like what? <laughs> y'all are crazy. I swear to God, if y'all do end up on like mainstream television or something like that, please get in contact. <laughs> I just want to know. I just want to know. I just want direct confirmation that it happened to you. Um, and I swear to God, I won't tell anybody. I'll just scream on the inside. So what's this? This is probably some form of communication. I'm telling y'all, people are going to be DMing each other, talking shit about you on like Discord and like group chats and stuff. I like, I swear to you, that's what it is. Eee! This also could be people in your comments if it's something like that. She's stupid. He's dumb. Like he doesn't know anything. Like mm, he's just like a pretty boy. She's just a slut. They're not that intelligent. Their video essays are stupid. Why does anybody like them? They have the worst taste. Me, 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 me. Oh, also, can I tell you? If you were ever that person in the past who was like maybe in the comments or thinking like, like, why does that person have success? Like blah, blah, blah. Guess who's about to experience karma? You're now going to be the one who is having that directive right at them. So I want you to think, was there ever a time in your past where you were in somebody's comments, when you were in somebody's group chat, when you were on the Discord server going, I don't know why anybody likes this, this is so stupid. Who's Taylor Swift anyway? Ew. If that was ever you, it's coming back around. It's coming back around, except it's coming in with your success, but now you're gonna get to experience it. You're breaking the fourth wall. Get ready. This is so funny. Yeah, it's like, there's your throne. This is also chaos energy. Something's going to be very chaotic and it's going to have you like stumbling, fumbling. I don't know that you're ready for this energy this six of swords, like you're moving. It's something about how you're moving. This five of hearts, it's like upsetting people. 
the way you are moving are is upsetting people and it's like they're going to tell you about it what's that six of swords the six of swords is the ten of wands the like something that is going on here it's like some sort of travel or movement or something has other people the three of hearts other people like up in arms with this um this is kind of like the knight of wands or the page of wands and it's sort of like they're being burdened by something that you are doing in materiality or something that's happening in materiality what is that joker card Ugh, people are so pressed about it. Don't know what it is. The Joker card is the Five of Swords. It's like, these are people with, like... Oh, wait, no, that's the Five of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Other people... Like, this just feels to me like other people who feel like it should be them. That's what this all feels like. This all feels like it should be me. Why is it him? Why is it her? Why is it them? It should be me. And it's like, it's not your turn. It's this person's turn. What is this? There are people in particular. There's like three people, because we saw the three of cups, right? There are three particular individuals or energies that are going to be like backing this. Maybe two men and a woman. It doesn't have to be though. Um, yeah, whatever, whoever these people are, they just don't want you to have what you do. They don't want you to have what you do. What's that? They're upset about it. That five of, um, that five of hearts. It's the five of cups. And they're talking about it. They're stirring shit. I don't, what is that five of hearts, please? Yes, yes. The Seven of Swords secretly talking shit behind your back. These three people, I told you. Three of Hearts. Three people. It's three people, at least. Three people. Secretly, I'm telling you, this is going on on group chats or something. Emails. Something on the back end. These people might be smiling in your face and then, like, plotting. Um, what is that? It's something about it's something about whatever you're doing if it's a collaboration with someone else like i don't know six of hearts six of cups three of diamonds three of pentacles and we have the two of swords here which is kind of like no we don't want that whatever that is um but can we get a more definitive they're saying no like we need to move on I've got the right of that energy. It's just that it's going to materialize in different ways, but it's like hater energy. It is opposition to whatever this manifestation is in your circumstances. So now we will look at outcome, final advice um, for this. Damn, this message is strong. All right. Whoa, all right, that is, that is. But we don't know how the energy is going to come in. We don't know how it's gonna come in, that energy, but you know it's coming. You know it's coming, it, oh, there it is. Oh my God. And then there's the people plotting, like, eh, we hate these people. We hate that that good thing happened for this person. All right, let me see here. All right, I think this is the order. Yes, 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 okay. Well, there's a king of wands, man of action or person of action communicating this offer, right? And to the queen of all, Do we need it to be any clearer? So if this is a person, they are your energetic match, your creative match, your magical match, your visionary match. Y'all share some sort of vision, some sort of purpose, and it is likely this person, it is likely this person 
who is going to be coming in and telling you because this is the more masculine energy here and this is the more feminine and it's sort of like the sword is on his side his side it's not necessarily his okay um they're telling me to go around one more time we will how exciting for y'all Ooh, this person it look look at that clear energy this person is unfettered they are on the way whoever they are what is this ace of swords what's going on here Yes. well they're telling you they're on the way they're leaving something going in like it's just communication about stuff it's like, look, I had to do all of this shit to, like, come in here. And, like, it took me, like, this took a long time. Like, I've been working. Like, here's the thing. Whatever, if, like, this is another person, right? Whatever manifestation you have been working on, somehow this other person has been working on the exact same thing. So I'm not saying that they had you in mind for seven years or however it's just that they have been working on this idea this idea this vision whatever it is for a long time and they've had to sacrifice a lot for it and they are likely also explaining why they are coming into you over this thing whatever this six of cups like it's for the collaboration okay this person is coming in like this is crazy crazy energy this is crazy energy it's coming in fast and hot it is a major shift it is divinely guided you are going to be happy about it and then there's going to be like some people feeling left out who are going to be like me 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 obviously obviously um because of this emperor going fuck. Like this person, I told you, if this is this person, it's because they had to ditch people and they're hating. Like I said, major shift came out and you're gonna be happy. <laughs> All right, what's this queen of wands? Oh my Lord, because like I said, these are two partnership cards for me in this instance. We've got the strength card. This is like two people working very well together, or this is your energy, your manifestation energy, the union of opposites, whatever, coming together to do work. It is a working partnership, or it is literally, this is another person. So remember, if this is just you, you know you had to sacrifice a lot, you had to work a lot, and now everything is coming together for you. And it's just saying that whatever the manifestation is, if it is not literally another person, it's just you are full throttle forward. And this thing that you are working on, it has gathered enough momentum for it to come into fruition like sometime relatively soon. Um, any sort of, like, they're just going soon, I'll pull a card on the timeline. I wouldn't really worry about the timeline all that much for the manifestation. It's soon, all right? This is like a week. It's so soon because the last time that we looked at this, we got, um, or at least the last one that I'm remembering when we got a timeline for it, it was like the, the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So whatever it is, like this is the page of wands, it's just like, it's soon. It's very soon. Um, and that's all the energy is going to tell me. Like, I mean, soon is relative, but it's like, I can't like, obviously if I tell you, oh, it's happening tomorrow. Like, not necessarily, okay? Great. That's the energy.